itself, the house was done in two sections. The public area right here, the public over here, this is public area, and then the private apartments off of Worthington's right over here. So right now we're going into the nursery. Yes, it is. The girls would have learned how to do needlework just like this, could make little pockets for themselves like that. That wallpaper's different too. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It goes good with the. That goes beautiful with it. Yeah, yeah, it does. In the uh, public rooms, like by not putting them into the uh, private rooms, marble was seven dollars for a hundred pounds, and so it was very expensive. Okay, and of course these things are whale oil lamps, and they um, are another sign of great. Very nice. Yeah, yes. They're pretty. Exactly. I'll do it after they eat in the state dining room. Okay. The carpeting, very expensive. It was imported from Brussels, Belgium. Oh, is that original too? No, it's a replica. Oh, okay. Okay. Say it looks awful new. <laughs> yes, it is. Since 2003, when the house was refurbished for the bicentennial. Okay. And the wall. And the idea was you put food on the other side on the shelves and then they could just turn it around and serve it right here. That I want so one. Cool. Yeah, I that, want one. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, I also want one of those doors, those window doors. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Down to chill a coffee, don't know. This don't know about this place. It needs to be really advertised. Yeah. Because it's gorgeous. I mean, it, it, it really, is. It's, it's just like going down to Virginia, really, when you look around, it's just. And it's a great piece of Ohio history. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, this is the state. And it was local, didn't it? Well, in order, they wanted to look older and more dignified. And they would put powder and grease in their hair. Oh, my God. So that the powder would stay. <laughs> All that no running water. Yes. The drapes are the cinnamon and cardamom and cloves. We don't even think about this. It's on the shopping list, we take it off the shelf, we pay a couple of bucks and it's ours. Mm -hmm. Well, not so easy then. They were kept, they were so expensive. They were, okay? mm -hmm. Now, she was the only one who had the key to this. It was passed down to the women in the family and their names are engraved on the inside of that little door. Okay? Yeah. Now, when the girls got older and they wanted to cook or bake something and Eleanor was not in town, they were really frustrated because they couldn't get in there. Okay. Yeah. Now, look. She converted to Catholicism later on in life, and this allowed her to bring several orders of European nuns to the Cincinnati area where she lived to help set up schools, orphanages, and hospitals. She, she was uh, quite a remarkable woman and accomplished a lot of good things in her life. Any questions before we leave Sarah's room here and go on into the other two guest rooms? Is all of the, the table, everything is... Uh, everything, original? everything in here belonged to Sarah Worthington except for this bed. Oh my gosh, it's pretty. So, very, this is a pretty cool room. It's yeah. pretty Clay, he was a senator from Kentucky, and he was also the first speaker of the house. Now, the reason this is nicknamed the Henry Clay room was, the Henry Clay family would come and spend four to six weeks here with the Worthingtons during the summer. So they would come and spend quite a long time here, make a long visit with them. Now, Mr. Clay and Mr. Worthington were pretty good friends up until the War of 1812. They had a falling out over that. Worthington didn't want to go to war, and Clay did. Expected of you to have, you know, just another one of those little social quirks that they had going on this time, you know? Like, see what I got. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. And the you, bed is so pretty, though. The bed is very nice, but you, she probably told you downstairs that they're kind of, they're a little good bit shorter than they yeah. are now. But that's because they slept at an angle to help with their... Maybe one wall. <laughs> well, this is my favorite room in the house. This is Mr. Worthington's office space. Some people would describe this as his man cave, and I think that's a pretty adequate description. He just spent a lot of time in here. He did a lot of business dealings and meetings in here, so quite a busy little room he had going on. I always like to start with this table. It has 